I feel like you guys hear us talk about the hate that we receive, you don't but see it. you have no idea what it is. And the only way that I can actually make you feel it is for you to see it. So I want to start out by reading some of these messages that these women have received. And I just want to warn you that they're graphic, they're explicit, um, and it's shocking. Um, you're an emotional, stupid bitch. Kill yourself, you're useless. You stupid, punk-ass bitch. If I ever see you, get ready to have your lawyer ready, because I'm going to you up, bitch. Of course you pull the black card. You're so jealous. Holy Stop being a jealous bitch. It doesn't look good on you. And you need all the help you can get looking good, because you're the ugliest girl in the house. No one cares about a half, half Mexican bitch's opinion. You are disgusting and are jealous. I'm like shaking as I'm reading this because it's, it's shocking, it's uncomfortable. I know it's uncomfortable for you to see. Just imagine how uncomfortable it is to get this in your comments and your DMs every day, every week, every month. And you guys, that's just a tip of the iceberg. Clearly what we're talking about isn't criticism. This is hate. How many of you have faced true hate? Not criticism, true hate. That's 100% of you. You have to like set your DMs that have filters for certain words oh, so you yeah. don't see them. It. It's like, that bad. It's literally that bad to where you have to try to figure out a way to block it out so you don't see it on a day to day. So it literally like brings you down. I was so afraid to even pick up my phone because people were saying such nasty things to me. She was getting death threats. I was sent getting death threats. Work email. My work email saying that, hey, I want to buy a house, but it's actually a paragraph of how I should go kill myself. Marissa, I see you getting emotional. Yeah, I guess it's just hard. Like, growing up, I grew up in a predominantly white town with a white mom and a white dad. And then coming out, hearing all these comments, saying these things, it's just hard. When you're bullied for the way that you were born or the color of your skin, right. that's something that's not a choice and that's something that you can't change. The things that I've had to go through in my life because of the color of my skin and because of where I'm from, I've had to be really strong. Like, in the moments like where you don't even know how to be strong, but like you just have to do it because if you don't, you're just, you're gonna, you're gonna fall apart. So like, I have to be that for myself. But when these things are said about you and those wounds from your past aren't, they're never fully closed. So then when people attack you that way and like, the way it makes my mother feel. It's just like, when it comes to the point of attacking someone for who their mother and father is and because of the color of their skin, that's where it has to stop. And just because you talk a certain way or you act a certain way, you can't stereotype someone based off of that. That's ridiculous and it's upsetting to think that, oh, someone's a certain race, they can't be proper or they or can't. have blonde hair. Exactly, can't have blonde hair. Why does that matter? I was gonna say, a lot of the comments that I got right away off the show was um, about my hair and my choice of being natural and it sucks and it hurts. Um, your hair's beautiful. It's literally you, beautiful. Your hair is beautiful. It's beautiful, Thank Alexa. Um, and then also, I had so much love come in and it meant so much to get messages from people saying that it's important to have representation and thank you. I think that it means a lot more to me. The love is, it, it is a lot louder. You know, you just can't, you can't listen to that negativity. Yeah.